His, his heart is focused on bringing them the gospel. Verse 23 says, And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. So what he's saying here is that, look, the people who run in a race, just in general, so think about some race in the Olympics, right? These guys run in a race, there's only one winner, right? I mean, the person who finishes that one, they win, but they're, they're doing that to gain just some medal, some crown, right? It's just this corruptible gold, silver, whatever, and um, they win that physical thing. Well, we're also in a race. In our Christian life, we are in a race to do good unto others, to, to, to win rewards that God will give us at the judgment seat of Christ. That is our finish line. That's where we want to be to, to be able to, to come into God's presence where he says, you know, well done, thou good and faithful servant, and he'll reward us for the race that we run on this earth. And he says, every man striveth for the mastery. You know, we need to run that we may obtain. We want to run with the, with the prize being set before us and pressing forth towards that prize and, and, and keeping that in our minds that, you know, yes, this is difficult. Yeah, sometimes as you're running a race, you know, you get cramps, you, get, you start to feel fatigued. We need to keep pushing forward because we want to finish the race and finish strong and keeping the, the, the prize in mind at all times. He says, we need to run as if we're running to, to obtain a prize. And he says, every man that striveth for the mastery, that wants to win, is temperate in all things. If you want to run the race appropriately, you need to exhibit temperance. Temperance means control. You are in control and you are tempering your thing. Whatever it is that, that, that comes about you, you are temperate in all things. You don't allow yourself to get out of, out of whack in, in any aspect of your life. You're keeping everything in balance. You're being tempered with the things you do. And when it comes to gluttony with eating, you know, that's something that we need to keep in temperance. That we need to be able to, to withhold ourselves from. Let's keep reading here. Verse number 26, he says, I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the, the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. He's talking about being in control over his own body. His body is subject to him. He's saying, I'm not going to let my body dictate what I'm going to do, the, the, the course of action I'm going to take. You know, if my body's just saying, well, you just need to eat more, you need, you know, he's saying, no, I'm going to cut it off because I'm in control here. I am going to temper what's going on. If my body's saying, you know, oh, I want to go out and fornicate, I want to get drunk, or what, whatever it is that your flesh, that, that, that fleshly lust might be in your body, he says, I'm in charge. I'm not going to let my body, you know, it's a very hedonistic uh, uh, thought to, to just say, well, if it feels good, do it, right? I mean, that's what the world thinks. That's why you get so many people getting high on drugs and getting drunk and everything else. Well, it just feels good. And that is a wicked philosophy. And if you want to do anything for God, if you want to run the race, and if you want to win that prize, if you want to win those crowns, you need to keep your body in subjection. You need to be the one in charge. Now, we all have various areas in our life where we have sin. Everybody does. But we need to be able to take charge and take control over whatever the, the problem area is. And in, this, and in the subject matter for tonight, we're dealing with gluttony. And gluttony is in, uh, not being temperate in the food that you eat. 